Welcome, guys. Welcome to my next Let's Play, my newest project, a childhood favourite of mine. This is going to be hilarious. Guys, this is Prisoner of War. Uh, it was released back in 2002. During my, uh, I went through a phase when I was like 11 where I was obsessed with World War II prison camps, right? Uh, just World War II in general, really, but I was like, I watched The Great Escape over and over. I used to pretend to play Prisoner of War with my sister in the back garden. And this game is probably mostly at fault for that, to blame. Uh, it's amazing. It is the most amazing game ever. I can't wait to play it. Now, unfortunately, it is also the buggiest piece of shit ever. And emulating it is incredibly difficult, so there's going to be a bunch of glitches, slowdown galore, game bugs. It's going to be wonderful, so let's start a new game. This music's awesome as well. Gets you pumped. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm so excited. Chapter 1, captured. Be prepared for the most amazing cutscenes in any game ever. Alright, just preparing you. It's... it's just glorious. One mile to target. <laughs> uh, you will remember to take the lens cap off this time. With the best facial hey, animations plane, ever. Captain, and I'll take the pictures. 900 yards. 800 yards. I mean, look at this for an action cutscene, guys. We've got a shot of a plane. Back it's to the cockpit. Heavier. We'll only be able to make one pass. 300 yards. 200 yards. Okay, Fritz. Nice big smile now. Okay, nothing's happened. It's just flying normally. Rudder's gone. Pitch control's gone. What? Nothing happened. I'm gonna throw up. Save it for the crowds, JD. She's going down. <laughs> okay. Oh, now something's happening. Look at that. Okay, right. Oh, I've missed this. This game is just fucking brilliant. I really hope I can play through it the whole way without incident. I hope there's no game-breaking glitches. Here we go! Hand the hawk! Hand the hawk! Drop your weapon, American! Yes. Easy, Hans. Jackets like this don't come cheap. This is what we are in for. Tremendous acting. Reused character models for every single guard. Good afternoon, Captain. So good of you to drop in. Good to see you crowds haven't lost your famous sense of humor. I think you will find us agreeable hosts, Captain. So long as you, how do you Americans say, keep your noses out of trouble. Now, we have just three rules in this camp. Oh? Rule one. You attend roll call every morning and evening. If you fail to report as required... <laughs> Or you enter an illegal area at any time, the guards will find you and punish you. Rule two, you stay clear of the perimeter fence at all times. The guards have orders to shoot prisoners who stray over the line on the ground. And rule three? Rule three, Captain, is that you obey all the rules. Ha! <laughs> I should have guessed. And say I don't like your rules. Oh, I think you will grow to like them, <laughs> Captain. A day or two of solitary confinement should see to that. You have the scariest face of all time. Those dead eyes. And look! A glitch already! It's glorious! He's stuck in place! And slow down of epic proportions. We saw a plane go down. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm really well, sorry. I've tried to get it running. Sitting down again in a while. Say, has a guy named JD been brought in here? No, sir. Maybe they've already taken him to Stalag Luft. That's where we're all headed eventually. Oh. Yeah, speak for yourself. Slowly, Look, that sir, is. if you ask me, you'd be best off staying out of trouble for now. Fall in with the other prisoners. Get to know the routine. And you might want to drop your kit bag off in Barrack 1. Anyway, gotta see a fellow about some cigarettes. See you later. See you later. Oh, Brian, he's alright. He's a cool Eric dude. One, huh? Dude. Now, where'd that be? Uh, r right where it says fucking one next to it. 
Lewis. Captain, Lieutenant Stone, whatever your fucking rank is. Here we go, we have control. This game, man, as you've already seen now, has the most amazing facial animations. And just general production polish that you would expect from a, tr from a, not a triple A title, a fucking quadruple A title. This game's amazing. We've got to drop our kit bag off at the barracks. Um, yeah, there is going to be a lot of slowdown in certain areas, certain cutscenes, and I've tested it as much as I can. This is the best I can get it running, so I really hope we can get through the game. And it'll just make it more hilarious, if anything. So, right, let's go do it. Now, this game I, I was so excited for because, obviously, I was massively into, uh, into World War II stuff. Specifically, Prisoner of War. You know, I watched The Great Escape, like I said, Cold It, a bunch of other films. Um, the game's just explaining to us how to, uh, how to save and rest, store our items. Uh, and, and what I really like about this game as well is the fact that, you know, it's got a full day-night cycle. And just a lot of the time, you've got to be sneaking into illegal areas of the camp at all sorts of hours, but you've always got to be back for roll call. So it's always, like, tense. Really tense. And... Oh my god, I can't wait to play. Let's just get into it. Kit bag is stored away. And just a sense of atmosphere, I don't know. I really could not get enough of it. I can't... Use there. Fall in with the other <laughs> prisoners and report to the mess hall for evening meal. Schnell! <laughs> Slow down, German. Bad acting is even better. And there we go. So, you've got a routine to follow. You have to obey the uh, the camp schedule. So, as you'll see, me and me two mates here. O'Brien and I don't know who this guy is. We've got to report to, uh, to the mess hall. So... This is the exercise yard. Um, as they mentioned, you can't go near the perimeter fence, because that is obviously a bad idea. You will get shot. And if you get shot in this game, it's pretty much... Well, you're, you're in a world of hurt. This is not an action game. This is pure stealth. Got to use your cunning. And th I love this chef, dude. Listen to him. I am expected to work with these meager rations. It's ridiculous. Oh. I am expected to work. Okay, with some, these say something rations. different. It's ridiculous. My breakfast is not to your liking, American. It is the finest in all Germany. Sure it is. Sure they would have you working here if it was the finest in Germany. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Anyway, let's have a word with uh, O'Brien again. How are you holding up, Captain? Make sure you don't end up like Clancy over there. He used Clancy. to be a real feisty one, Clancy, but he's been through so many failed escape attempts, the fight's gone right out of him. Ah. Oh. Uh, I'm not looking to stick around. I'm not looking to stick around here. Any ideas, O'Brien? That's it, Captain. Never give up. As for ideas, well, this might be only a small camp, but security's still pretty tight. But look, if you're serious about giving it a go, I might be able to help you. If... You're willing to do me a favor. Listen, I, I don't I don't do blowjobs, okay? I'm listening. You see, there's a little business I need to take care of with one of the guards. I won't go into detail, but the bottom line is I need some currency. I'm sure there's some in sick bay, but my last attempt to reach it got me thrown in the cooler. You wanna try? Not sending me to the cooler! Maybe. Dollars, uh, all right. Well, he reads the fucking dialogue anyway, so Maybe. I don't need to read it myself. Dollars or rack marks. Sorry, I should explain. Currency is what we call any contraband we manage to retrieve from the more illegal areas of the camp. You know, chocolate, brandy, cigarettes, that kind of thing. Some things are more valuable than others, of course. Hmm, so what's in it for me? I, I, oh my god, I'm so used to reading dialogue in games. So what's in it for me? Well, if you can get into the sick bay and get me the 50 currency I need, I'll see what I can find to help you get out. What do you say? Okay, I'm in. Right, come and find me when you've got the currency. Oh, and one more thing. Have a word with Clancy. He spent some time in the sick bay not so long ago. Cool. I'll speak to you later. All right, Clancy. So this is the this is the the basic premise of the game. You got to follow the routine. You got to talk to your fellow inmates and 
formulate plans to get out. All the while exactly stealing from the Germans. But it sure beats some of the dumps the Krauts have thrown me and O'Brien in this year. O'Brien's the Irish guy over there. No. Clancy. Between us, we could probably write the guidebook on German prison camps. Well, that's that's wonderful. Say, Clancy, was it? You know how I could get out of here? <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy. Tried going over the wire, under the wire, through the wire. Now, I reckon I'm content just to stare at the wire. You want advice? Try O'Brien. That old fool just won't give up. I just spoke to him and he told me to speak to you. Why are there only two of you here? Jones, Barkley, Anderson, and Foster were transferred last week. This place is just a temporary holding camp and stop-off point for German supply trucks. Oh. Um, well, we need to ask him about Sick Bay, but I'll just, um... I'd like to know about these guys. They seem pretty cool. How do you know O'Brien? Me and O'Brien got picked up by the Krauts in Italy. Must be oh, over a year ago now. Damn. Since then, we've been shipped around so often it feels like we joined the circus. Next stop, Stalag Luft. Looks like the end of the line for us. Ah, uh, Stalag Luft. Um, I learned most of my German history from this game, I swear to God. Uh, sick Bay. Is it true you spent some time in the Sick Bay? Yeah. Sprained my ankle a while back. Oh, shit. It's behind the mess hall, down in the southeast corner of the camp. I think that's beginning of morning exercise. Uh, is it easy to get is to? It easy to get to? Nope. That's how I busted my ankle. There's a wall all the way around it, and they keep the gate locked. I managed to slip past the tower to avoid the guards, but I slipped off the wall and wound up getting stretchered in. You pillow. Not quite how I planned it, but what the heck. Well, I guess. I mean, we could just injure ourselves and get in there, but... I'll speak to you later. I'd rather uh, not have to fuck up my ankle, if that's okay. Even though we run like we, we have. What kind of a walk is that? Look at that. It's like semi-sneaky, semi-not. I don't know. So, oh, it's evening. Sorry, it's not. It's not fucking morning, is it? It's bloody ten past six. All right. So now we have to uh, head over for the evening roll call. I don't think there's anything in here we can take. But yeah, sick bay is actually. If we go out this door, sick bay is over this wall. Now there is a guard tower, and as you can see, the map. It's very MGS. You've got the cones of vision, although, from what I remember, those aren't too accurate. They can still see quite well. Regardless of how stupid they sound, they are actually quite competent guards. So, the gates are open now, and I think, uh, yep, the rest of the chaps on the way back to uh, the barracks. So, we're probably going to have to either... I think we're going to have to wait until uh, morning before we can sneak into sick bay. So, as you can see, the clock, you got the green arrow, that's basically the point at which you will have to have come back for roll call. I can't quite remember how the timing works exactly. Oh, and the guards have torches. Quite, I remember being really impressed with the lighting effects of the torches back in the day. Oh, they're just standing around, are they? Okay, so it's not quite time for roll call yet. But it will be soon. So I'm just going to stand here. And be a good little prisoner. Going to lull them into a false sense of security. Oh, and uh, when you see him do that little thing with his arms, that means you're in a place you shouldn't be. Good evening, gentlemen. I hope you all had a pleasant day. Dismissed! Thanks, pal. You handsome man, you. And is it, is it, it's just gone so dark. Look at that, it's nine o'clock. So, we've got to get to bed. It's time for lights out. And uh, Clancy and I share the same barracks. O'Brien, for some reason, has been put over there. I don't know why. There's only three of us in the fucking camp. There is enough bunk beds in this room. Surely you'd want to keep everyone in the same place. Easy to keep tabs, but okay. There's a random pot of shit over here. Some sexy photos on the way. Some chess. Or is that drafts or checkers? Anyway, right. So, yeah, we've got a little hiding spot here that isn't a hiding spot at all, but apparently the guards don't search it. You can put whatever you find in there, contraband and shit. But for now... Uh, I mean, we could sneak out at night time, but there's not really much we can do in this area right now. We can't get over the 
the wire wall, so really not much point. So, uh, unfortunately, I think it makes you save every time. Uh, so we'll do... We'll overwrite the one I've already done, because I, I did have a little test file. Uh, but I, I really think this game could end up crashing at some point. I've no... It's so unstable. Um, and you can choose a time here. Uh, I think we'll go just straight to morning roll call, because that gives us the most time in the exercise yard. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. So we're going to sneak into sick bay and time skip. Which we can't seem to skip. Dear one! In the Big Brother prison camp. Alright, morning roll call. Alright, chaps. Sleep well. Good morning, gentlemen. I am delighted to see you all so eager to face the day. Dismissed! Yep, so he says that every single fucking time. <sighs> I, you know, I get the feeling he's not being very sincere with that. I, I actually think he doesn't. I, I think he isn't delighted that we're happy to see the day. Or he's being sarcastic, because we're obviously not looking forward to the day. What, what are we going to do? I'll tell you what we are going to do. We're going to go kick some cans. So all the craze in all the prison camps, you know, it's called can kicking. We kick cans. It's just the most fun ever. And yeah, there's, there's, whose footprints are these? Nice little detail. <laughs> oh man, you won't get me praising this game's uh, attention to detail very often, so make the most of it. It's breakfast time. Now this guard, I think he walks around the mess hall. We have a guard in the tower that will occasionally look over into the camp, but I think he's more concerned with the uh, wonderfully textured trees and bushes. So I'm going to try and hop over this wall. While they're having breakfast, I can skip out on it. Oh, I'm not going to climb over there just yet. Right, here we go. Look at that jump. He's so athletic as Captain Stone. Oh, shit. Someone saw me. Or oh, they thought me. they saw me. I'm in sickbay. We are in. Got the currency. Got 30, we need 50. And the last one is a nice bottle of, uh, bottle of booze. Right. So, we have successfully acquired the currency. Can we successfully sneak back over? Oh, shit. Dun, 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 dun! Fuck off! If you stay in the- oh shit! Oh shit! Now's the time to hide, guys. You can't actually crouch. I don't know if hiding in bushes works. I may have fucked up already. Oh no, I think he's lost interest. Is he gonna turn the other fucking way or what? Screw it! Screw it! We're going over the wall! Please don't see me up here, guys. Yes, we did it. We did it. They are none the wiser. Just in time for morning exercise. Hey, chaps. O'Brien, I got your currency, dude. What do you be needing, Captain? Got your currency. That's grand. I've got That's grand. for you, too. Let's meet in my barracks later. Oh, he's got something for us later in his barracks. And hang about. Guards around. But I thought this might come in handy. Uh. Polish? Oh. I appreciate the sentiment, Sergeant. But I've always been a suede man. No, oh, sir, it's for your face. You racist you bastard! Sneak about at night, see? Use a mirror to make sure you don't miss anywhere. Oh, that old trick. Well, thanks, I guess. I'll stash it in my hiding place for now. There's one more thing, sir. I bribed one of the guards with that currency you gave me. He'll slip me anything Jerry confiscates from the prisoners. Who's Jerry? So, if you happen to have a run in with I know the guards, who Jerry is. Don't worry. come and find me. And I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. That, Sergeant. You sleep well now. You sleep well now. Yeah, O'Brien's one character that I, I rem remember quite fondly for some reason. I don't know why. Good morning, gentlemen. I am delighted to see you all so eager to face the day. This... Hey, hands off, Wolfgang. Didn't they teach you any manners in kindergarten? Watch where you're treading those jackboots. Oh, it's all dead eyes. So 
so we did survive. How nice! Another American airman! Surely you did not think you could evade the Reich for long, Lieutenant. And that's all he's going to say to him. I'm going to tell him about hey, the three buddy. rules. I was beginning to figure they plowed you into the fatherland. Not me. I managed to give the search party the slip. But then... Well, did you get a load of the local dames? JD, don't tell me. Let's just say I decided to lay low for a while. But it turns out this Fräulein's pop is some big shot general around here. Oh. Doesn't take too kindly to my line of international relations. Doesn't help that you're wearing a jacket Next with the know, fucking US flag on it. Say, you planning on sticking around here? Nope. You? Nope. And I'll tell you what. They brought me in here the long way around, and it looks like part of this camp's a truck compound. Some kind of long-haul stop-off point. Oh, yeah? I figure if we could stow away on one of those trucks, we could be home for Christmas. Will you look at me when you're talking to me, please? Sorry to butt in, but I couldn't help overhearing. You're not the first prisoners to take an interest in those trucks, and the Krauts know it. They've made sure the only way into that compound's through the driver's quarters, and they keep the door to that padlocked. Crowbar? Crowbar. You'll be lucky. The guards keep all their tools locked in a store in the northwest of the camp. Then all we need is the key to the store. What are the chances we'll find one lying around the crowd's barracks? These are German guards we're talking about. Okay, here's the deal. I'll distract the guards during morning exercise while you sneak in and look for a key. Just let me know when you're ready to move. JD, I always said we made a beautiful team. Uh, this, the, yeah. It would help, though, if he looked at people when he spoke to them with his dead eyes. Oh, right. Is it, uh... Yeah, it's morning, breakfast time. So, I mean, why the fuck can't I dis uh, distract the guards and he go steal the fucking key? He looks younger, he's more nimble. I'm an old grizzled frickin' pilot. I don't want to be doing this shit. I don't like... I don't like James Daly. He sucks. He's an idiot. As you will see, I'm sure. Uh, mess all time. Right, so how do I get in the barracks then? Where the hell are the barracks? Will O'Brien know? What do you be needing, Captain? Um. Yeah, we need a key. Oh, have you got anything else though? The boot polish is great. Got anything else? Actually, I do. Ooh. Take a look at this telescope. It's not much, but it's great for spying on guards, especially up the towers. It's yours for twenty currency. Um, well, I don't have the currency right now. Maybe some other time. Your choice. Let me know if you change your mind. Oh, I will do. Thank you. So, how did you meet Clancy? So how did you meet Clancy? Clancy? We got thrown in the same camp a couple of years ago. I supplied him with tools and the like for his escape plans. He supplied me with currency. And we've been friends ever since. I wish you could have seen him back then. Scourge of the guards he was. Not so much anymore. Right, so yeah, we need a key. I've got to get a key from the German barracks. Any tips? A key? Oh, I wouldn't know about that. But I'll tell you this. Before you go through a door, it's best to check through the keyhole first. Tripping over a German guard can really ruin your day. <laughs> yeah, I bet it could. Uh, so you, you, you don't know anything? That's all you know? Sorry, but I've never had the patience for all that sneaking around. Try Clancy. He's got more training in that field. Cool. I'll speak to you later. Clancy, actually, let's chat to James. These guards don't look so smart. Let me know when you're ready to sniff around the barracks, and I'll make sure they're looking the other way. Morning exercise has to be the best time. All right. Okay. Well, we'll do that soon then. Um. Yeah. How about you go check it out? JD, how about you go check out that store? Hey, would you give me a break? I only just got here, but I'll see what I can do. Are you actually gonna do it? Oh, is that different? I don't fucking know what's going on. I can't remember where the store is, where the barracks are. Clancy, my boy. What can I do for you, Captain? Hey, Clancy, you know how to get in the German barracks? I really am going to have to stop reading the dialogue, but it's... It's such a habit now. Um, have you picked up any tips on avoiding the guards? These days I don't bother, but in my heyday, I was near invisible. It's all about staying crouched, moving slowly. And using objects around you for cover. Boy, was I good. And modest. Hey, Clancy, you know how to get to the German barracks? Well, it's just north of the mess hall over the fence. But if you want to get in, you'll have to distract the guard. He's posted outside all day. 
Wait, I thought that was the sick bay that's north of the mess hall. What? Okay. How about at night? Whoa, are you kidding? At night, the whole place is full of snoring krauts. Although, I guess you might be okay if you moved real slow and quiet. That's assuming you could get past the searchlights in the first place. Uh, I don't like searchlights. I've played enough MGS, thanks very much. I'll speak to you later. So yeah, I mean, it does give you some freedom of what time of day you want to attempt these sneakings. These, uh, little excursions. I reckon I'm just going to go for the, uh, thing of him distracting the guards and then... I mean, it is... It is, uh, currently breakfast and... Well, it's going to be breakfast. I think it's at 10 o'clock, it's morning exercise until... 12, I want to say? I don't know when dinner is. So, sometimes you just gotta wait around. I'm thinking I should have stored the boot polish in my, uh... In my hiding place. Unless he did that automatically. How do you check your items? I haven't even tried to... To look. Ah... Uh, I have nothing. Doesn't tell you what time those things are, though, does it? Uh, so after lunch, we go back to the barracks, and then we come back for dinner, and then back to the barracks for roll call, right? Uh, no, that's about it. Okay. Oh, hiding... Yeah, he did put it in his hiding place. Right, cool. So, I mean, I'm not sneaking out at night right now, so I don't need it, but... If I find any currency, I want to make sure I stash that away in case I, uh, I am going to be doing something naughty. So, I mean... Oh, wait. Wait, north isn't that way. It's this way. Right. Okay, well that makes more sense then. So let me just go outside and have a look where we're going to be going. That must be the barracks then. So how do we get over there? There isn't a gate. That's the only gate there. Do you go round? Oh, maybe... Maybe we have to go round. Can we climb over the fence? Oh, we can climb over the fence. Oh, it's that guard that he's going to be distracting that stood in front of the barracks. I see. Right. Hey, JD! Do you think? Hey, boss. Hey, boss! Wow, slow down in this particular point in the camp. Um... Do it. Ready to get the crowds off of my back? <laughs> we stick to the plan and wait till morning exercise. It is fucking morning. Oh, fine. I'll I want the most time you. possible. We're in the yard. It's about to be morning exercise. You're just fucking stalling, mate. You got cold feet or something. Let me just drink out the piss latrine. Sorry, the the water trough. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Don't think you can ever go in in here. Can you cling to walls? Oh, you can. Right. Right, it's morning exercise. Hey, boss. Fucking do you your thing. Get the crowds off of my back. Good to go, boss. Leave the guards to me. You go check out the crowds barracks. Come and find me when you've got that key. Right, cool. So I think I, uh, I hope I just did a save state. Right, he's gonna go... Let me just see how he does this. Yeah, I think I just did save. Right, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he, he just decides to die. Okay, that's not... That's obviously not fake. Right. Oh, and two guards are going over to see him. Ooh, this could be dodgy. What can I do for no, you? No, I don't want to talk to you, Clancy. Fuck off. I'll speak to you later. I'm trying to climb the fence, man. Dunna, 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 dunna. But yeah, I actually, uh, I did. Oh, there's some shit under there. Wasting my time. Oh no! You didn't distract him very fucking long, did you? Oh no! Oh fuck! I, I surrender. Oh, I'm getting sent to the cooler. Good job I'm right near it. 
Oh no! JD! Useless twat. You Americans just have to do things the hard way. Oh, bollocks. You really don't get much time, do you? Oh well. So you can load your last save, or you can continue, but you'd lose anything you had on you. But obviously I didn't have anything, so it's fine. Day three. Just fucking great. Maybe it will be easier to try it at night time, I don't know. Um... Yeah, let's skip that. Right, guys. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go save it. Actually, I hope you've enjoyed this little intro to this wonderful game. I've no idea if I am gonna be able to finish it. It's all dependent on if the game runs correctly the whole way through, or if there's gonna be some game-breaking glitch or anything like that. I mean, anything goes with this game, honestly. Uh, it's it's one of my favorites, though. I played it through so many times. And uh, I'm, I am really hope I can get through it again. Uh, like I say, it's pretty awful at times, but as a stealth game, it's pretty proficient. It's alright. But just... Oh, yes. Yes, Prisoner of War. And it has the best game cover of any game, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'll probably show that on screen. Uh, just, just glorious. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please like and comment. If, uh, if you want, and I will see you hopefully for the next one. Uh, bye.